Hi everyone, it's Rachel Gregg. Today I want to show you a new stamp set that I designed for Darkroom Door called Wild Africa Volume 1. This set is a part of a series of African themed stamps which includes Volume 1 and Volume 2 with a lion and a cheetah and Volume 3 with an elephant and a rhino along with an African tree stamp set. We've also released some African themed background stamps which I'll share in another video. But today I just want to concentrate on the Wild Africa Volume 1 set which includes a large zebra stamp, a large giraffe stamp and along with some sentiments and little footprints from both the zebra and the giraffe. So to ink up the stamp I like to lay the stamp on the table and ink from the top and that way I can see where I've put the ink and can make sure that I've inked up the whole image before stamping. The ink I'm using right now is a Ranger Archival Jet Black ink pad. This ink pad is oil based and waterproof which means that the image will stay crisp and the ink won't bleed out when it's drying. You can use this ink pad on many types of surfaces but this time I'm just stamping onto gloss cardstock to show you the full detail of the image. Gloss cardstock is a coated cardstock where the ink stays on top of the cardstock rather than seeping inside of the cardstock. This means the ink stays exactly where it has been placed and you will get the full detail of the stamped image. But right now I'm just stamping onto a blank sheet of white gloss card but you can colour it up with um, either markers or distress inks or any other type of ink after you've stamped. So these stamp designs were created from photographs that I'd taken while on safari in Africa last year. Both animal images have an incredible amount of detail in them. Check out the detail in this zebra. Look at that. I designed the animal stamps to be quite large so you can see more detail in the animal fur and they look great on a card front. So here's a card using the giraffe stamp as well. You can also colour the gloss card first before stamping the image. Here's one where I created the background using alcohol inks and then stamped the giraffe over the top using the archival jet black ink pad. And to show you how the stamps look when stamped on regular matte cardstock, here's a few tags and stamp pieces where I was just playing around with distress inks and two stamps. Uh, for this zebra card I used the crown resist technique. And here's another tag just using distress inks with the giraffe and one of the sentiments. And here's you know a fun little tag because all the little sentiments can be used uh, by themselves or for little tags for scrapbooking or journaling or gift, uh, gifts and presents. And little footprints are cute too because they can be repeated to create you know, a little line of footprints or to create borders or create your own backgrounds. So this stamp set along with the other African stamps are now available from Darkroom Door website or ask for them at your local craft retailer. If you'd like to see more projects, please check out the Darkroom Door blog where we have many other projects from all artists all over the world to inspire you. Thanks for watching.